big arms, a big set of guns. That's what I always wanted. Every time I did a rep, I visualized my arms as mountains. That's how big I wanted them to be. Back in the 70s, Arnold had the best arms in the game. Some people might argue that Sergio or Robbie had killer arms too, but when it came to arms, the bicep peaks, nobody could touch Arnold. His front double bicep pose was legendary, like the gold standard. So let's break down how Arnold trained those guns. We don't want little chicken wings here. We want mountains of muscle. And to build mountains, we got to work hard. Every rep feel the burn. I used to visualize my biceps as mountains growing with each curl. That's the kind of focus you need. You want big arms? Huge arms, arms that make people pull over their cars and ask, hey, what you got there? Then follow my arms routine. Starting off with biceps. Those were the ones he loved doing the most to pump up those guns back in his prime. First up, for building serious bicep mass, we got the barbell cheat curl. This exercise is super basic. One of the simplest movements anyone can do to grow their biceps. Arnold's way of doing it is like this. And the beginning very strict, then when it gets heavier, heavier, we did a little cheating, and then when it gets really heavy, more cheating. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. We got to push those muscles to failure. That's how I get my gains. What was your best barbell curl? 275, I did uh, three or four reps on, on stage. It was always one of the things that you did in my days. You had to show that you had the strength also. On to the next bicep move, the one-arm concentration curls. This is Arnold's go-to for those bicep peaks. You might recognize it from the movie Pumping Iron because Arnold was doing this. This exercise is all about isolation, really targeting each bicep separately. It's great for making sure both arms get balanced development and for bicep definition. Make sure to keep your upper arm stationary and focus on that slow, deliberate contraction as you curl the weight upwards. Feel the burn, embrace the challenge, and watch those biceps grow. And remember, it's all about the mind-muscle connection. Really visualize those biceps working with each rep. All right, moving on to the next one. Dumbbell curls. This exercise hits the whole bicep. You're really working that full contraction with each rep, and also you don't have to stick to just one style here. Now let's hit those biceps from another angle with the classic dumbbell curl. This staple exercise is a favorite for a reason. It's simple, effective, and delivers results. Just remember to maintain proper form and control throughout each rep. I think the important thing is that you always go all out in every set and that you really, you know, don't save yourself for the next set because I still have 10 sets to go, but that's the wrong approach. Each set ought to be going all out. You got to shock the muscle, shock the muscle, and shock the muscle with different kind of training principles. Then Arnold would do some preacher curls. Back then they didn't have all those fancy machines, but they had barbells, and that's what they used for this exercise. 
we had only very few dumbbells and we had mostly barbells, so everyone trained with barbells. If it's barbell uh, curls, if it is uh, barbell triceps, if it's barbell bend over rowing, everything was barbell, barbell, barbell. It really targets the brachialis muscle. Because your arms are at an angle during a preacher curl, it hits the long head of the biceps muscles more than the short head. This classic exercise is a staple in any arm routine and is fantastic for isolating those biceps, helping to develop that peak and thickness we all crave. Ensure your elbows are firmly planted on the pad and focus on that slow, controlled movement as you curl the weight upwards. Squeeze those biceps at the top for maximum contraction and growth. All right, now on to triceps exercises. If you want well-rounded arms, you can't just focus on the biceps. You've got to hit those triceps from different angles for the best results. And Arnold's favorite triceps exercise was cable press downs. Uh, my favorite was a triceps extension with a cable, you know, just pressing down. Everyone has a different kind of a build. There's people that are getting a much better triceps exercise if they do one-arm triceps, like Frank Zane was one of them, they did one-arm triceps extensions behind the neck and he pumped up like crazy with that exercise. To me, it was a good exercise, but not the best exercise. To me, the, the, the regular push down on the cable was a much better, uh, much better exercise and much more effective exercise. Next up, tricep bench dips. This was one of Arnold's go-to exercises for building up those triceps. No fancy equipment needed for this one, just you, a bench and a burning desire to sculpt those triceps. Sit right on the edge of the bench with your hands shoulder width apart, keeping a good posture. Your knees should be bent at a 90 degree angle. Tighten those abs and keep your shoulder blades pulled back and down. Lower yourself down with control, feeling that deep stretch in your triceps, then push back up explosively, really focusing on that contraction at the top. Keep that posture locked in the whole time. Time to switch things up and target those triceps from a different angle with a lying French press. Your elbows can be pushed back further and the weight comes down behind your head. This exercise targets the long head of the triceps and is fantastic for adding mass and definition to your arms. Keep your elbows tucked in and lower the weight towards your forehead with control. Then press it back up, focusing on that intense contraction in your triceps. Feel the burn and embrace the challenge. Last tricep exercise, one arm overhead extensions. Hold the dumbbell firmly overhead and lower it behind your head with control, feeling that deep stretch in your triceps. Then powerfully extend your arm back up, focusing on that intense contraction. This exercise targets the long head of the triceps and is fantastic for adding mass and definition to your upper arms. If you want those arms to be perfect, you can't skip forearm exercises. Let's start with reverse barbell curls. You can do this standing up or on a preacher curl machine. Grab the barbell with your palms facing down. Flex those biceps, bend your elbows and lift the barbell up toward your shoulders. I strive for full extension and full contraction. You are building mass. 
Remember, it's all about that mind-muscle connection, feel the burn and embrace the pump. This exercise is essential for building forearm strength and grip endurance, crucial for any serious lifter. Hold the barbell with an underhand grip and curl your wrists upwards, squeezing those forearm muscles at the top of the movement. Lower the weight back down with control and repeat for an incredible forearm pump. By the end of this workout, your arms should be pumped, full with blood. There's nothing that compares to the feeling of this pump 